So let's think about this one. Let's check one by one our, uh, the, uh, some, some incident happened with zero probability. Israelites, uh, they were able to return from the Babylonian Empire after 70 years uh, later since being enslaved, right? Seven years, Se 70 years, not seven, 70, right? And then their own place is already destroyed, totally destroyed, and they don't have much budget to rebuild their city. After captivated and then return their uh, ancient place, and after pass almost passing one generation, rebuild their own country and cities, the probability is zero. Zero. But how did God make it happen? He already prophesied, foretold one king, a king, right? The king's name is Cyrus. Right? Cyrus. And then with him, and then he made, made a law to return to their own place. Right? And then Israelites got back, uh, got back their own place and then rebuilt their own country again. That happened from the zero probability. This is what God is doing. Let's see. Uh, Ezra chapter 1 verse 1. Let me read here. Now, in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the, by the month of Jer uh, Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia so that he made a, proclam a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing says, that says Cyrus king of Persia, all the kingdom of the earth of the Lord God of heaven has given to me and he has uh, commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem. This is in Judea. So he, he made a one king and then made Israel to return their own place. Probability was zero. But God made it. Right? Uh, all the Israelites, they had spent their, their time 400 years in Gentiles' land, the, in the land of Egypt. And after four generations, they were able to escape, and then they were uh, they were able to run away uh, and then passing through the wilderness, and then all of a sudden they stuck in one place. In front of their uh, face, there is a Red Sea, and behind them the Egyptian troops is followed to seize them again. So, uh, that, imagine that place, but divided it as two part, and then across this Red Sea is a dry land. Probability. Probability? Zero. Zero. But that happened. Right? This is what God enjoyed. So, after Red Sea crossing, they entered the wilderness. Right? There's no food, no cultivated place, and no water to feed the even animals. Right? That horrible place survived 40 years. Uh, they were able to be survived 40 years. Right? The probability was zero, right? But they were able to survive their 40 years. This is what God can do. Hmm? And one day, they were attacked by the um, enemies. Let's see, Second Kings. Second Kings. <clears throat> 19. Another attack was also was given here. 2 Kings 19, verse 35. Verse 35. Let me read here. And it came to pass on a certain night that the angel of the Lord went out and killed in the camp of Ashurian 185,000. And when people arose early in the morning, there were the crops uh, all that. Even modern, very high-tech weapon, there is no way to kill the enemy with this way. Like this way, right? No sound, no bombing, no explosion, right? At night, one day, um, 185,000 enemies become dead body with silence. The probability was zero, right? But God, he made it. 
Let's check another probability here. There is one boy, and then he was sold as a slave. But unfortunately, um, uh, he got uh, some unfair prison sentence. And then one day he met the king, and then interpreted his dreams, and then he became a uh, he finally he became a prime minister of other nation. Probability is zero. zero. But that happened, right? What next? Only one grape of flour, and then one scoop of oil. With this. Uh, Ingredient survive three people survive three and a half years probability zero. zero but that happened one hundred years old man and ninety years of the old lady granny and grandma <laughs> they help the probability of conceiving a baby the probability <coughs> zero but they have. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This is not a myth. This is not a the the what is that? Fairy tale, right? This has really happened in the Bible. What about just the, they they just walk around at the city wall every day, right? And then seventh day they walk around, take a walk, and then yelling something, and then. Totally double layer wall is collapsed. Probability was zero. zero. But that happened. Right? So what you have is your own trouble as a probability zero. Zero. Hmm? What do you have? Make me beautiful? <laughs> oh. Taller than before? <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> Three hundred, uh, three hundred times more, the first coming of Messiah prophesied in Old Testament. As it is, as it is written, that Jesus came down to the earth. Only God can do this. And then Jesus had to die the day of Passover, right? But if you read the four Gospels, there's lots of chances uh, that Satan uh, eliminated Jesus before the Passover. But Jesus exactly died on the Passover day. Right? Only God can do this. Let's see Psalm chapter 46. Psalm chapter 46, verse 2. Psalm chapter 46, verse 2. And then right here. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Right? What will happen here? God is going to be our refuge. Right? He's not, uh, this is not saying he's not going to make that trouble happen. But he promised that. In the middle of that trouble happens, he's going to be a refuge. And then he's going to be a shelter. He's going to protect us. But upon us still, all the trouble is running around here. Right? How comfort, how, how, this, how is this big comfort is this? Yes, we trust in God. No matter what, he is going to help us. But unbelief, Make us frustrated before some circumstance happening here. Right? What is the faith? We are not look into some troubles, what is going around us. But we look into who control, who control this situation, the God. Right? That's why with faith, we can see the God. Without faith, we can see the situation. 